Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, another audio edition of Voice of Reason. And uh, again, we have one more person we have to talk to, and a man that I followed uh, down the road with as we're back here at Gallagher Athletic Center, former St. Joe Hawk player, now currently playing for the college, St. Joe's, Chris Clover. Welcome. Uh, thanks for having me. Great to see you as always. And uh, you and I certainly have had great roads as far as, because I followed you all the way up to you from your freshman year on. And I remember when you officially got the nod for varsity. How have you enjoyed yourself at St. Joe's? You had a great win this past weekend against Temple. Tell us about that. Um, yeah, I enjoyed myself really well. Uh, I'm glad we got the win at Temple. It was a little ugly, but uh, we came out in overtime and uh, we played hard and we got the, we got the win. Yeah, because this has really been a team that I remember uh, coming to your one of your practices, and it was really around the week before you were getting ready. I think it was that before that Friday night, because mm -hmm. actually your coach was the first official interviewer on Voice of Reason. That's a true mm -hmm. story, and I wanted to talk to you about you know what it's been like playing at St. Joe's. You're teaming up with, and I would imagine you're rooming with Newman Garetti's Lamar Kimball. What has that been like, no, uh, the I'm two of you? Believe. Nevertheless, though, what is that like having Fresh as a teammate? Uh, no, it's great. Uh, coming from, we both come from Catholic, uh, Catholic, Catholic schools in the Catholic league. So, um, room with him is great. He's a great kid. Uh, love spending time with him uh, on, on and off the court. So, um, I'm really enjoying my time at St. Joe's. Uh, they, they really need you these days. Tonight was a very difficult game. <laughs> it does seem like this team is trying to start from scratch. Uh, Temi Iagbusi, Darius Kittle, and Kyle Thompson, along with Pete Gayhart and Chris Motti, really seem to be the players that uh, this uh, that, that Coach Speedy Morris's team is really relying on this year. Yeah, those guys, are, um, they, they, they're playing. It seems like they, this is my first game. So, um, so it was kind of new for you. So it was kind of new for me. Uh, but uh, I believe, I hope, hopefully they continue to. Um, get better as a team and uh, hopefully do something in the Catholic League. How good is this St. Joe uh, Hawk team as far as, uh, you know, what, with what's been going on right now? Is this team for real? Can this team make a run of the Atlantic head? I'm talking about the Hawks. I'm oh, talking yeah, about your yeah, new yeah, school, yeah. I, not the prep. Uh, I know the prep no, can make I, I, a run. I, I, well, both I mean, teams. What do you I think mean, of both teams? Well, well let's, no, let's we, get we, to we that. Go, we can go to the university. Uh, I think we have a great chance of uh, making a run in the eight ten. Uh, we're a great team. Uh, we have great players in DeAndre Bembry. Um, who could be one? Who could be gone? By the way, next year. Going. So uh, he he pushes us. He's the leader of the team. So if he leads us, uh, we can do very good things in the A10. I want to talk to you about the man you just spoke with a few moments ago, as opposed to the new man that you've been playing with. And these are two very well respected coaches, and that's Speedy Morris, who everybody says it themselves, the best in the city, as opposed to another very well respected coach in the city, and that's Phil Martelli. What have those two meant to you in your life? Um, well, coming from high school, Speedy has meant a lot to me. Um, he has prepared me for the college level. Everything he has taught me has been applied to my college experience at St. Jude's. And, um, uh, Phil Martelli is a great guy uh, on and off the court. I uh, love talking to him when I get the chance to. And, uh, he's a very good coach. Well respected. You're now officially on finals. What is the next matchup for the University of St. Joe's, I mean? Your next game. Oh, my. Your next game. Oh, my game. Next, my next game is uh, Saturday against well, Our next game is Saturday against Illinois State. All right. I know you've got a lot of stuff going on. I know you got a lot of preparation. How does it feel at least to be – are you done finals? Yes, I'm how does that? How does that feel? It feels great. That, that absolutely uh, feels like ever, that. What is, what, is that uh, what does it mean now to kind of take some time off before you get ready for Illinois State? Now, you're not really taking time off officially because no. you know you're back on the road. You're at Illinois State or you're at home? Oh, I'm at SAU. I'm going back and forth pretty much. So what, what's – good? no, no, I, I, I was asking oh, where's the game on Saturday? Oh, that's St. Jude's. Oh, so the game will be at yeah. Hagen Arena. Yep. Looking forward, of course, to seeing what you can do over the next uh, few years at St. Joe's. What has been the best part about your relationship with The Voice? Uh, that I can dunk on them. Oh, come on! <laughs> your brother uh, coming up in the next uh, few years. Uh, what, what, am I, what do I need to do uh, uh, look forward uh, with him? Uh, he's going to be a great player. Uh, he's a very confident you think, you think maybe he'll go to the Hawks to St. Joe prep? Uh, hopefully. That's what he wants to do. I mean, but he's going to look... He's getting a little um, looks from uh, other high schools. I've so. dunked on you, too, by the way, no, just like I've dunked on no, you. He still, he still on, does, put that on record. He still, he does, not ever, he still does not ever credit that. Record, Chris, please. great to see you. I know you got a lot of work to do. I Chris Clover, it. always a pleasure for another audio edition of Voice of Reason. We'd like to thank Chris Clover of the St. Joe's University basketball teams, along with Jim Fetterty.
Evan Eric Longino and Devin Goodman for the audio edition of Voice of Reason. I'm Jake Schwartz again. Germantown Academy has defeated St. Joe's Prep 56-37 for Voice of Reason's audio edition. We'll see you at the games.